guys, it is Sunday morning. Despite Bob's repeated reminders last night to close the vlog, I forgot. <laughs> we had a great time with Jenny and Brian yesterday. Um, got a lot of, um, Jenny and I got a lot of crocheting done and she's trying a new project um, that I'm, help, I'm sort of helping her. It is her Monday, with. July 15th and uh, it's about 3.45 p.m. I was going to be doing other stuff this afternoon. <laughs> that didn't happen in this morning. I've spent quite a few hours sewing some more bags. Um, this is that square bag pattern that I said I was trying to alter the shape on. Um, it's taller than expected, but at least it's a better shape. The other one is fine. I'll still use it. But in comparison, when I fix the problem with the pattern... Here's the first one. Here's the other one. And these are a better size. Anyway, um, so they're all done. And let's see, that's all I've done. I, I did edit, I shouldn't say that. I did edit the vlog uh, in between being at the sewing machine and I got it loaded and scheduled for YouTube. So that's all done. I need to do some swatches out of some cotton yarn I just got. I got some Line Brand Re-Up cotton poly blend yarn and I kind of want to see if I can make a sweater out of a wearable out of it but I'm gonna need to swatch it first and wash said swatch to see how it reacts um how heavy it is how drapey it is or isn't so I'm gonna need to work on that um what else I think that's it for the minute I don't need this many bags. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them all, <laughs> but they are real cute. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, no idea. So there's that. Um, I think I'm gonna sit, I need some water. I need to drink some water. I need to take an Amazon return to the UPS store. <laughs> I ordered something for the kitchen sink sink s-i-n-k they sent me printer ink i-n-k for a printer i don't own <laughs> i how do you get those two things confused i have no idea <laughs> anyway i'm going to clean up my mess and sit and watch some youtube figure things <laughs> figure things out um, put some stuff away. Um, again, this pattern I'm working on is by Telefonte. It's the boxy cosmetic bag pattern. Um, if I forget to link it in the video description, somebody remind me if you want the pattern. And anyway, I'm gonna fold this up and put it away because I'm done with that. And I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. So I got a swatch made from the cotton yarn I bought. Um, I bought two of these cones. Each one has 651 yards. Should be plenty enough for a tank. I want it, would just want to do a tank top or a short sleeve sweater. Um, already, I use a six millimeter hook and already I can tell you it's drapes pretty well. It's not super heavy. Um, it's not super rough either. I am going to wash it and see what happens, undry it and see what happens. Anyway, that's done. Yay. See that mess? Yeah. So <clears throat> I have a lot of tubes of paint that, okay, like this one. <laughs> it's just, um, I'm gonna start combining colors even if they're not the exact same color. Like all of these, oops. All of these like bright greens, they're gonna all go together and get mis mixed together in a mason jar. I've got three different colors of turquoise or teal. They're gonna get mixed together or at least the two lighter ones. Um, I'm gonna consolidate some of these paint colors because um, this is crazy. And I have some, I have big jars like over there. I just, yeah, and, and use stuff up. I think there's a few tubes back there. Anyway, I don't think I'm gonna do that today, but I'm gonna do that this week. What else do I have to do? There's something else. Film artsy trio. <laughs> Not today, but this week. 
Uh, I guess I better make a list or I'm gonna forget. I'll be back. everybody. It is Tuesday morning. It's not 9 a.m. yet. Uh, babysitting day. I've got a loaf of bread working. I've got laundry working. I've had my morning meds, my coffee, all the things. Thought I should go check the mail before Junior gets here because I don't think I've checked it since Friday or Saturday or... I guess I'm a true Oregon Oregonian because I don't check my mail every day. <laughs> Seems to be a neighborhood thing anyway. Other than babysitting today, I want to continue work on the sweater I've been working on and maybe even try to get it done today. I got the ribbing around the bottom done last night and I just need to do the neckline and the sleeves and then I can move on to the next project. I also have a, um, the cotton swatches in the laundry. I got the laundry started this morning. I think I said that already. I really did have my coffee. Uh, anyway, so we'll see how that comes out and maybe I'll start on that next, but I also have two other sweaters that are already balled up and ready to go. So I'll pick, pick one and that'll be my next project. So anyway, I'm gonna sit and breathe and relax a little bit before Junior gets here. Uh, he is almost two, so he's about 15 months-ish. Yeah, anyway, 16 months, something like that. He's a lot of work. He makes Omar very tired. So I'm gonna relax until he gets here. I'll be back. Okay guys, so I haven't hidden any uh, of the ends, woven any of the ends in, but she's done. She's cute. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased. It, it was easier to do than I thought it would be. I did make some changes to the pattern, but um, I'll try to remember to link it below. If I forget, somebody remind me, but... It's cute. Oh, I love this part. And the original pattern doesn't have ribbing around the neck. It doesn't have, um, I did two extra rows around the armholes and then a row, a row of it, ribbing. There's just a um, chain five ribbing, which gives you four stitches, same as on the neck. And at the bottom, I did some ribbing too, because I like ribbing. Anyway, what do you think? I like it. All right. On to the next. Hey guys, good morning. I think it's still morning. <laughs> it's Wednesday, July 16th, Amazon Prime Day. Not that that means anything. Um, I've already uh, done a couple of things. So I went through all of my tubes and cans of old acrylic paint. I have combined some colors similarly uh, that are similar into mason jars to consolidate. I have some really large things of acrylic paint that Um, I've also taken some tubes out and I'm going to let go of them. Um, so, some of these, see the tape? That's from when I moved to Oregon from California six years ago. Never opened it. So anyway, my bin of stuff to let go of is getting bigger. Um, and it may get a little bigger still. We'll see. In the meantime, I have these cones of Lion Brand cotton yarn. They're re-up cotton yarn. I have made two swatches. Um, one, oh yeah, is a little crooked. <laughs> that's okay. So I've made one that's not washed. That's it's okay. It's pretty drapey. It's not as heavy as like um, peaches and cream or sugar and cream. Um, and then I washed it, and this one's really soft. So then my thought was, before I make anything with it, if I'm gonna try making a wearable, can I pre-wash the yarn before it's even made in anything? So I looked up some videos and yes, yes, you can. So we have the thing out and we are going to wind up some hanks off of the cone. I can't wash them on the, on the cone, they're on a cardboard cone, so that won't work. So we are gonna wash them 
take it off there, make it into hanks, and then wash it and put it in one of these, tie it up tight, yeah. So, and then work with it. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, I'll be back. said cotton yarn is wrapped and tied and bungeed and in lingerie bag, not bungeed, hair tie, has hair tie on it. Anyway, it is washing. Let's hope it's not a giant tangled mess when it's done, but I don't think it will, but we'll see. I'll be Can back. Film both episodes of our C trio for the next two months. Yarn is washing. I swear I heard some, something fall over. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> no idea. It sounded like something fell and crashed, but I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. It's so weird. But this is a big house, so I have no idea. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna catch up on daily drawings and writing and that might be it for the day. I can sit and just crochet, which I'm not sad about. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> I am, dear. Um, so yeah, for the first time in well over a week, we're going out to go walking. Um, it's not 100 degrees outside, it's only 85, so you know. God, so many berries. Where'd these all come from? Jeez. Um, so it probably won't be a long walk. And we've got water and a sweat rag, but um, gotta we're go going to... Gotta do something. Yeah, gotta do something. I did get a lot of creativity done today. I feel really good about that. I have been back to an old whip working on a hexagon project with... Um, mini skeins that I've bought when we've gone traveling so I have kind of a lot of little balls of yarn and I need to catch up so I'm gonna work on that and yeah it's been a pretty good day I didn't get any painting done but I did get some paint sorting done got a lot of really old paint you guys paint sorting sorting yeah wow. some of it's really old that's getting, that's getting there. use it up or yeah. Oh yeah. I also combined some paint tubes into jars. You know, I don't need 50 different shades of orange. Just one. I'm exaggerating. It wasn't 50. It was only like six, but still. Six shades of orange. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Some of it still had the tape from when we moved. Remember we taped all the lids shut? We did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. That's it for the minute. Enough chattering. We've got steps to do. I'll be back. Hey guys, I forgot to vlog yesterday and I haven't vlogged today until now. And it's, uh, I think it's after eight o'clock at night. It's just been a busy couple of days between babysitting and everything else. I did get some crocheting um, done. I started a long time ago on a hexagon project inspired by Nitty Natty. And um, whenever my husband and I go traveling somewhere, even if it's like to the beach for the weekend, I try to get a mini skein um, here and there and I make hexagons out of them by a particular pattern for which I will link below. And I'll try to put a picture here of some of the ones I've made. Um, I haven't worked on it a little bit. You know, I've kind of, kind of acquired a lot of yarn for it. So that's the project in my bag at the moment. So whenever I have a chance- when Junior's napping or before he gets here, after he goes home, whatever, um, you know, I brought, uh, if you saw last week's vlog, I brought crocheting with me to the baseball game, like everywhere. I work on it here and there. So I've been doing that. We did have a little accident here at the house today. I can't go into it. Everybody's okay. Um, we had some damage to a cabinet and the dryer, but it'll be all right. Thank goodness nobody got hurt. And it's a lesson learned not to do that again. So yeah, anyway, um, we had a really great family dinner. Otherwise, I think my dad is going to go with Bob and 
adopted son-in-law to the range tomorrow. They're gonna go um, do some practicing. Dad needs to brush up on his skills, so they're gonna go do that. Um, Jenny and I are gonna stay here and crochet while they're doing that. I love that. We don't turn the TV on or anything, no music, no nothing. We just sit and crochet and talk, and I absolutely love it. It is so nice. Um, so anyway, we're gonna get that done. We have a few more dishes to do from family dinner, which is always how it is. And then I can sit and do a little bit more crocheting and watch some YouTube. So I'm gonna do that. I will be back with you all tomorrow. I'm hoping tomorrow afternoon I can go. Well, I have next week off. We're watching the grand dog, son-in-law and daughter and junior are going out of town for a week. So that means no babysitting, which means I have the week to myself to be creative and all that, despite the fact that we're watching the grand dog. Um, and I'm going to plan on number one, going thrifting because I haven't been in so long because I've been doing so much babysitting. There's just no time to squeeze it in. So I can't wait. So anyway, I think that's it for the minute. Sorry for not keeping you all up to date. But you know, when your life is busy for whatever reason and you, you want to be creative, just squeeze it in. You might only have five minutes and sometimes that's all I have, but I use the five minutes. So anyway, speaking of which, I have to catch up on my daily drawings tomorrow too because I'm two days behind again. Um, this is what happens, so priorities. Grandson's a priority, so anyway. All right, I'll be back. Guys, it is one o'clock on Saturday, July something. I think it might be the 20th. Anyway, we are headed out to go do some stuff, fun and not so fun. So this morning I spent some time with adopted daughter Jenny. She and I just crocheted and chatted. We love these Saturdays when we do this, when the guys are at the range, love that. Um, so that was a fun time. I worked on my hexagon project that I put a picture in already. And um, now Bob and I are gonna go, there's an estate sale down the street. And also we have a Daiso finally in Oregon and it's only a couple towns away. So I think we're gonna go there. Today is opening day, so it might be really crowded, but we're gonna go check it out. And then we've got to run a couple of errands and then we're gonna come home. So that's it for the moment. I'll let you know if I find anything cool at the estate sale. I'll be back. Here's the thing. Yes, Oregon has a Daiso, it's back there. It's the first day, it's the grand opening and there's like a hundred people or more in line, no joke. Goes down the walkway, around the corner, all the way to Safeway. We did need to go to the grocery store, so we popped in Safeway. You know what? I'm gonna just, and it's hot out here, you guys. We're gonna go home, I'm gonna have a snack, I'm gonna sit and crochet. It's been an interesting couple of days, but yeah. All right, I'll be back. Guys, it is um, almost 11 o'clock at night, and we are still awake. <laughs> It's been a fun day, um, much more relaxing than the last couple of days. Uh, but anyway, we did some um, little things here around the house after everybody went home that we were wanting to do. A couple of changes in the closet under the stairs and um, things like that. Um, I also crocheted about, I don't know, 15 more of the little hexagons Today, I need to give my wrist a little bit of a break. Um, we did some shopping. The Daiso, as you saw, had about 100 people at least waiting outside to get in. So it'll be a week or two before we can go back over there because there's just, it's gonna be really crowded. It's the first one in Oregon. Nobody knows what it is. And those that do are very, like myself, very excited. So anyway, I think tomorrow, we have some donations to drop off and we might go do a little thrifting. Otherwise, we're just relaxing at home. I do have next week off of babysitting. So I anticipate getting a lot of stuff done. Hopefully, we'll see. Anyway, it's been a fun week. Some weeks you can squeeze more creativity in than others. It's just how life is. But just squeeze it in where you can every couple minutes. Just put some in there. Anyway, you can do it. I know you can. Check out the video description for relevant links. And um, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Um, or suggestions, please leave them down below. Um, and 
how do you work your creativity into your busy schedule? Uh, let Why don't we share and see? Maybe you have a tip or a trick that'll work for somebody who is reading or watching. Uh, that's it for this week. Like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.